In today's video, we're going to learn how to paint a rainbow feature wall. This is what it looked like before, and this is what it looked like after. Pretty awesome. Let's dive in and learn how. So this is what our room currently looks like. It's very messy and we need to get some more storage in place and I'm going to be making another video of the full room renovation. However, in today's video, we are going to be focusing on this wall and we're going to be painting a rainbow. My five-year-old daughter is also going to help us with this video. All right, so what are we doing today, Keely? We're painting a rainbow on my wall. Yeah, and what have we got that we need to be able to paint the rainbow? Yeah. Pencil. Pencil and a paintbrush and a ruler and paint. Yeah, and we picked out six colours of paint, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, and you picked out the paints. Yeah. Yeah, so what are we going to start off by doing? Doing the rainbow outlines. That's right. So to start off with, we're going to take all of these things off the wall and then we're going to use our pencil and our string and we're going to measure our rainbow so that we're going to create our rainbow with 10 centimeters of paint going over the top of the bed and then we're going to have the rainbow as the backdrop to our bed head. We had to start out by removing everything that was already on the wall. My daughter had been putting all of her artworks up on display and as much as they're super cute, they couldn't stay there while we did the wall rainbow. We started taking it all down and then I got a pencil and I just marked out where the edge of the bed head was to make sure the rainbow would go over the bed head. We moved everything out of the way and then moved the bed away from the wall so there would be plenty of room to paint. I grabbed out the tape measure and measured the center point of the room and then I put a nail into the center point of the room above where the bed head would sit and that is going to be where I measure the rainbow from. We're going to cut a piece of string to tie onto this nail and this is going to be how we draw out the rainbow arch. I'll show you what I mean in a second but first Keely wants to tell you about her colors. Red, yellow, green and blue and pink and purple. So we went to Bunnings and we picked out the squares that we wanted in the colors that we wanted and we had all of our paints made up for our rainbow and Keely picked them all out herself. We're going to cut the string line to the full length of the wall and then cut 10 centimeters off for each different level of the rainbow. But first, before you start drawing the lines or painting anything on the wall, you really need to give the wall a deep clean, especially in a kid's room, it's gonna be full of dirty fingerprints and oily residue that can affect the paint from sticking to the wall. I also had to patch a couple of holes, so I just applied a little bit of filler into those holes. I'm using sugar soap wipes here to give it a nice deep clean. And of course, Keely had to help out giving it clean as well. I got my husband to draw out the top two rows of the rainbow just because he's a fair bit taller than I am and could reach it without a ladder. It was going to be a little bit tricky to have to move the ladder along as I was trying to draw the top arch of the rainbow. We wrapped a pencil around the string line and then used the string line to create that arch for the rainbow. After each section of the rainbow was drawn, we would then cut 15 centimeters off the string, wrap the pencil around and go again. We just used a ruler to make sure that we had the distances even and we would measure it, cut the string line and then rule the next line until the rainbow was complete. We used six colors. However, you can pick however many spaces you would like and however many colors you would like. Now it's time for the fun part. We get to paint the wall. We'd pick the colors out and we'd put them all in the order that we wanted to put them. And I just started hand painting those colors onto the wall. Of course, Kelly wanted to help out a little bit. So as each section was ready, I would let her paint the line in the middle. It was very difficult to cut in. So obviously kids wouldn't be able to help with that. However, it was really nice for her to be able to be involved in the project. As much as this is a super easy and super cost effective project, it is actually very time consuming to sit there and hand paint out all of those rainbows trying to cut in up against those lines. If you haven't done a lot of painting before, what you're going to do is go along the edge of each section of the rainbow and cut in up to the line, then paint in between that section that you have just cut in until you've filled in that one particular color of the rainbow. 
For most of the colors, I was going to need to apply two coats. However, some of the colors did actually need to have a third and possibly should have even had a fourth coat. When I was applying the paint, I painted every second color to enable the paint to dry fully before I would cut in up against that color. I did the purple first and then moved on to the blue, which was two up so that I could enable the paint to dry fully. And then that way I wasn't gonna get it to run or smudge or start to combine together. Then in the midst of what I was doing, I thought I had gone two up and I started painting the yellow. However, as you'll be able to see there, it wasn't actually in fact two up, I had gone three up. I realized it and thought, oh, well, I'll just swap the colors around and do the rainbow in a different order. So I kept going with the yellow. However, once I'd gotten to the end of the yellow, I realized it was actually gonna look pretty funny having the yellow at the top. I moved back down to the purple and started painting the second coat onto the purple. As you apply the second coat, you'll see that the color is starting to look a lot more full. With the darker colors, usually you will only need two coats until you get a really nice deep full color. It will also depend on what color the wall is underneath. Because the wall I am painting is already pink underneath, the pink is going to affect how some of the colors take to the wall. If you have a white wall underneath, it's gonna be a little bit easier in terms of applying the paint because the paint is going to go over the white wall quite easily. I moved on to the green and started applying the green layer and then I went back and decided I was in fact going to paint red over the top of my yellow layer because the red was going to look a lot nicer at the top of the rainbow. This was quite time consuming in a couple of different ways. One because I wasted my time painting the entire row of the yellow rainbow and two because the red was quite difficult to cover over the yellow and it did require quite a few coats. Then I got to move on to my actual yellow layer. Yes, I started painting another yellow row, but as you'll see, the colors just flow a little bit better in this order. So it definitely was worthwhile me swapping over and changing the colors back. But if you are painting the rainbow yourself, just double check before you start painting your colors and make sure they are in the right order. I absolutely love to paint. In fact, I actually find painting really quite therapeutic. However, by the time I had painted all of these arches of this rainbow it was actually getting quite time consuming and also quite tiring my arm was getting quite tired from holding it up and cutting in all of those edges however it is definitely starting to come together and the more colors that go on the more i start to fall in love with this rainbow because the wall was already pink as I had previously painted a pink feature wall for my daughter, I tossed up whether I could actually just leave that row as pink. However, the pink that she'd picked out was quite a different color and I realized that because the top and the bottom of the rainbow was still going to be that sort of deep pink color, the really bright pink that we're adding in in this row of the rainbow really kind of made it stand out. You'll be able to see up close here that the lines are definitely not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. There is a little bit of movement in those lines. However, when you're painting by hand and you're doing a project, it's just going to be the best that you can possibly do. When you're looking at the project from a distance and you're looking at the rainbow, you're not going to notice any of those minor waves. I then went back to the red and I applied another coat on the red, but now I'm just gonna play a little bit of music and let you appreciate the therapeutic aspect of the painting. <laughs> I'm getting closer to getting finished. I'm applying the second coat on the green. This project all up did take me two days, probably took me about 10 hours all up, including all of the painting time, preparation time and everything all involved. If you were really dedicated, you could get the project done in one day, but I just wanted to break it up a little bit for myself. So although it is time consuming, it is very cheap and a great way that you can create an amazing feature wall for your children. The whole project only cost us $70 all up. As Keely said in the earliest part of the video, all you're going to need is some string line, a pencil, a ruler, a paintbrush, and your six colors that you've chosen to complete the rainbow. 
The hardest part of the whole project was definitely drawing out with the pencil to get the rainbow arches. It was actually quite hard to hold the pencil still to create a nice straight line and I did get a few bumps and then have to rub them out and go again with each row of the rainbow. Overall, the project was a huge success. It was very inexpensive and quite easy to do. It's definitely possible for everybody to do. Plus, my daughter absolutely loved how it turned out and I earned a whole lot of brownie points as a mum for doing this one. And once again, a look at the end result. If you watched this video to the end, I would love for you to let me know in the comments what you think of this and if you're going to have a go and create a rainbow feature wall for yourself. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for lots of DIY and painting fun.